postcard pretty Amsterdam. It's known for its canals. People come here just to relax, to go and have a boat ride on the canals. It's museums. Which has the beautiful Rembrandt, the Night Watch. It's bicycles. And for thousands of foreign tourists each year, it's the place to go to legally light up and smoke a joint. And of course, that attracts a lot of tourists. Many of them college students from the U.S., like Emma. I mean, we like the coffee shops. <laughs> Nearly 300 coffee shops in Amsterdam, more than 700 total in the country of the Netherlands, all sell marijuana legally. That's only five grams per person and only to those over the age of 18. Coffee shops in the Netherlands are taxed heavily. A huge chunk of what they make goes to the government. And the revenue of the sales was about 1 billion euros. David Ducalo is manager of the Cannabis College in Amsterdam. He says the sale of marijuana is a cash crop for the country. The government actually imposes a very high uh, income tax on coffee shops. I think it's one of the highest at 52%, which does mean that the government at the end of the year in 08 had about 400 million euros in its pocket. I personally love the policy because it gives people the personal freedom that they deserve and it also stimulates the economy, which I think we could really use in America right now, especially in California. These days, California's Prop 19 is a popular subject in Amsterdam, especially for coffee shop owners like John Foster. Thank you very much. I'm following the, the propositions because it's so exciting. We probably have about 75% tourist visitors and then maybe 25% local people. Foster, who's originally from Rhode Island, now runs the Gray Area Coffee Shop in Amsterdam. It's a great way to have it and the openness of it, and it really, you know, it takes away the criminality. And well, we follow the whole debate very closely here because California could be paving the way forwards or actually shooting itself in the foot. As Amsterdam continues to draw millions of visitors every year, marijuana use isn't necessarily on every tourist agenda. I'm not a uh partaker myself. The strongest high there is. But it's certainly ringing up big sales and bringing in big bucks for Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, Suzanne Fawn.